Hey, high levelers, Rayo Daniel here. I'm making a quick video that's going over a new feature that was literally just released a day or two ago from high level, going over the calendar customization widget. So this is very important because this is one of the most sought after changes. It's a really small change that you're gonna see, but people have been asking for this for a long time and now it's finally here. So before we get started, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe link below. I always appreciate your support and let's get into it here. So what I wanna do is first of all, kind of show you a basic uh, funnel setup that we have and then show you how to create the calendar and then we're gonna go in and show you how to customize it. So right now I've got a couple of different screens open, but here is the calendar that we've got. It's just a simple funnel. This right here is the new image image slider. If you guys uh, haven't checked that out, there's another video I have on my channel regarding the image slider. Very cool. And you'll actually get to see it in this uh, particular demo. But here is the calendar setup here. So notice if we if we book a calendar here. Now I'm using the class calendar, the class scheduling calendar for this example, because I think it's pretty cool on, on all the different things that you get. Notice that it shows you the time and how many seats are available left in that particular class who hasn't booked an appointment. Pretty cool, I think, but I want to show you how you can customize that and even be able to turn that feature off if you want due to this new customization widget. So this is perfectly great. This is terrific. Let's get going here. So we've got the MacBook training calendar is the one that we've been dealing with here. So what I want to do is just hop over here and get into our calendars, go into our calendar set up here and choose our MacBook training calendar. And I'm going to go edit that. Now notice we have a calendar logo. Now what I want to do is just pop this up and just quickly preview this so we can at least see what it looks like. So notice the image slider, you know, pretty cool, right? All right, just, just going on. Let's, let's move on. <laughs> so here we've got a nice little uh, training icon. Looks like somebody teaching. We have MacBook training. We have this uh, little description. This is a sign up calendar for the MacBook operating system training. Here we've got, notice the colors. We've got sort of a white background. The color that we have here is blue. This has been pretty much a default standard um, that we have. Now, um, one of the things that we do, if we want to click on uh, like to book an appointment, notice we have just continue. And one of the biggest things we're going to look at here, yes, is this button right here. The button that's I'm hiding from here, schedule meeting. This right here is what the most sought after. People have wanting to customize this button to say something different other than schedule a meeting. Well, guess what? The calendar widget now allows you to do that. Let's hop in and take a look at it. Pretty exciting stuff. I know, but let's go ahead and hop into this. And I'm sorry, we'll go back to the calendar here. So right now we've got just a logo we can um, handle, the name, the description. <clears throat> um, we've got all the other basic information regarding the, the meeting, the availability form. Right now what we wanna do is hop down here to the customization area, because this is where all the uh, meat and potatoes are, forgive the expression. Now, this is only available on the Neo widget. Now keep in mind, most people are already using the Neo widget, so it's not gonna be a big surprise, but if you are using a classic, you do have to switch over from classic to the Neo widget in order to utilize this. But let's take a look at a couple of the settings here. First of all, the primary color here. This primary color being blue, this is the blue that you primarily see down here behind the scheduled meeting. And let's kind of take a look and preview this again. So we can look at it here. So all of these letterings here that we see, the, the 8 a.m., the, the color, the dates of these calendars, they're all the default color that we see here, this blue. And then the background color is white. So the good thing about it is, is now we can change those colors. You can make them more towards your brand colors if you wanted to, or create something that's just a little bit more custom so that all of your calendar widgets are not the same. They all don't look the same. They, you can tell them what they are just simply by the color of them. So that's great. Hey, real quick guys, if you're looking to start your own software company, then click on my free course in the link below. I'm gonna teach you eight ways that you can start your own software company very easily with no money out of pocket, no experience, and absolutely no tech skills. Check it out, click the link below, and let's get back to the video. So we can uh, change the primary color, the background color, the button text. Notice here, I'm gonna blow this up a little bit here. We've got the, these colors, but the button text says schedule meeting. Now you can do whatever you want. Book appointment. So that's perfect. You know, so now we can change the text of that color of that uh, little button that we saw. So we're going to see what that looks like here, but we're just going to play with it here. We're going to play with a little bit of colors. So right now we just want to change this and I'm going to come down here and select just a nice bright red color over here. And right now, so now it's going to go from blue to red. And right now I'm just going to leave everything else the same here. And right now what you do is you get this nice little, without having to go back and refresh the funnel page, you get this nice little preview widget right here that just lets you know what it looks like. So here we are. So now we get a screen where now that blue changed to red. Do you see how easy that is to sit back and customize it? Beautiful, right? So we're going to go ahead and cus uh, close that. Some of the other things that are really nice too are some of these options down here. Now we're going to play with background color here. Uh, might as well just see if we can uh, update this. We'll choose some loud colors, uh, like a green color uh, right here in preview. So now you see this is uh, pretty ugly to look at here, to be honest. Uh, so this definitely need to uh, check the colors before you start doing this. But if you wanted to, you can make this look however you wanted to. Change it to something a little bit more uh, easier on the eyes. Again, that's not so easy on the eyes either, but guys, you get what I'm saying. You can now customize the background, you can customize the text, 
And then of course, if we click on highlight one of the things and click continue, we also get this nice little uh, book appointment. Uh, I know it's probably a little bit hard to see, but now instead of schedule meeting, it says book appointment, just like we can customize it here. So this is great. This is what people have been looking for. Now, some of the other ways of being able to trim down the, the calendar widget is if you take a look here, notice that the calendar title, if you don't want the title to appear, just simply turn it off. And right now, we'll just take a quick look at that. But I do want to sit back and change this to, to something not so harmful on the eyes. So we'll just go back to using white to make it easier to look at. So notice here that now the MacBook training title is gone. We don't have that anymore. So if we wanted to, of course, we can turn it back on, come over here and just simply refresh this. And of course, it didn't pop up. Maybe you have to hit the preview again. But here we go, MacBook training. That popped back up. So you see, it's just very easy to come in here and configure this to do the calendar description. You can turn this off or even calendar details regarding this. But one of the other things, if you also wanted to, because this is a class booking, you can also sit back here and turn off the show uh, seats per slot. So if you want to do that, notice that we, on each one of these, uh-oh. Well, I guess it uh, that didn't really work out too well, kind of bombed on me. But to turn off this, that, and yeah, still shows a number of seats. So not sure what happened on that one. But anyway, this is great because now you can actually customize the widget. Now, I do want to sit back and simply state this. You can only customize each calendar once. Now, unlike the, the new reputation management, if you, you know the review widget, I have another video on my, on my YouTube channel that goes over the how to customize the review widget. That's a new feature that was also just recently released. With the review widget, you can have multiple configurations, but you can still only have one active. Here, they don't have multiple configurations, so you only get one. And that's in this particular screen that we're looking at here. You would just simply choose the primary color, the background color, whatever you wanna call the text, you know, have the title, description, or calendar details present. Once you do all that and you click save, then at that particular point, if you come back over here to the main screen, hit the refresh on that, it should pull all the calendar settings, and then this is what you get. This is your new calendar moving forward. Somebody could highlight a, a particular one, and now you can actually say book appointment, or I could say, you know, schedule class if I wanted to on this one. You could do whatever you want to. Now it's completely customizable. So guys, I hope you found that useful. I know it was just a few quick minutes to kind of show you what this is, how you can utilize it. If you found it useful, click the like button on here. Please help brother out. You know, YouTube loves it whenever people interact with the videos. It really helps me grow this channel and keep producing great content for you. But thank you so much. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, before you leave, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell notification. I do try to post a couple videos a week and they're all useful and you will learn something from them. So thanks so much and have a great day, high levelers.